I've been running for a long time. Never lived in any one place for very long. You'll be safe in midnight. That'd mean a whole lot more coming from someone who wasn't dead. <laughs> No family, no friends. He's running from something. Then he'll fit in just fine. What's so special about this place? Midnight has been a haven for centuries. People like us make this home. What are you exactly? Vampires run right for it. Usually I'm the freak in the room. You meet your neighbors yet? Joe, he watches over everyone. The Rev, I still haven't figured him out. I know Fiji's more than just a cat lady. And then there's Olivia. She's got more secrets than anyone. You fit in pretty well here, Mr. Psychic. Do you want to give me a reading? I mean, your soulmate. Someone who sees how special you really are. Well, if you were going to kiss me, now would be a good time. The bell that midnight sits upon, it's fright. And evil is being drawn here. What is it you need to tell me? We need to stop whoever did this to you. There's a prophecy. An army will rise to battle the evil and seal the bell forever. That army will be led by a man who can bridge the living and the dead. Why are you running? That's what I do. That's what I've always done. Except that for the first time ever, I feel like I've got a reason to stay put. She's sweet on you. But so far, the only thing you've brought here is trouble. I'm not scared of you. How about now? <laughs> He's in danger. I'm not waiting. The Midnighters are going to have to make a choice to leave or to fight. To live in Midnight, you need to know how to protect yourself and the people that you love. <laughs>